in this chapter we will discuss about the next topic that is actinides so actinides these are the elements that come after actinium these are from thorium to laurentium so actinium atomic number is 89 the elements that come after actinium that is thorium thorium 90 atomic number 2 laurentium this is 103 so the elements that come after actinium 14 elements is a thorium to laurentium atomic numbers 90 to 103 these elements we call them as actinides these elements they will come after actinium so they are called as actinides one important point here is actinium also belongs to this actinides because its properties are similar to this actinides so <coughs> these are the elements now if you look into the general electronic configuration of these actinides so like lanthanides they also have the same or similar configuration that is n minus 2f 1 to 14 this is anti penultimate f subshell n minus 1d 0 to 1 and ns2 so this is n minus 2f so for actinides it is 5f means n is equal to 7 okay so n is equal to 7 that's why it becomes 7s2 n minus 1 means 7 minus 1 that is 6d 0 to 1 That is n is equal to seven. Seven minus two is five. Five f one to fourteen. So the general configuration of these actinides is five f one to fourteen six d zero to one seven s two. So if you look into the oxidation states of these elements, basically these are metals like lanthanides, like transition elements. These are also metals, but they are less metallic than alkali and alkali and earth metals. So they will lose electrons. the nature of metals is to lose electrons so these elements also they are ready to lose electrons so when they lose electrons they will exhibit positive oxidation state so these elements in general they will lose three electrons from the outermost s subshell and penultimate d subshell that is from seventh shell they will lose two electrons from sixth shell they will lose one electron so that's why they exhibit a common oxidation state of Plus three. For all these elements, generally they exhibit a common oxidation state of plus three. So exceptions will be there in the in every case. So in lanth in actinides also exceptionally some elements exhibit higher oxidation state. Th they are thorium plus four, protactinium plus five, uranium plus six, neptunium plus seven. Okay, these actinides most of these are radioactive. Okay. so these elements in these elements the element that come after uranium are called as trans uranic elements these are found to be radioactive in nature so like in lanthanides in actinides also we observe there is a regular decrease in the atomic radius suppose you see in case of atomic radius if you plot a graph so for actinides this is a graph is plotted between atomic radius i am writing it as ar atomic radius and z i am writing is atomic number of these actinides so if you look into this graph so here also like in case of lanthanides the atomic radius decreases regularly this decrease is this decrease is 16 picometer this is from thorium this is to laurentium so in case of actinides the atomic radius shows a regular decrease only 16 picometer this is due to actinide contraction in this actinides we shall see the physical properties of actinides so actinides basically these are silvery metals they have shining nature they are lustrous in nature why they are lustrous in nature means when light falls on these actinides the electrons get excited to higher energy level and then they undergo de excitation during de excitation the absorbed energy will be emitted back so that's why that will emit color or that will emit light that we see in the form of lustrous or shiny nature so these actinides these are silvery metals they are shiny next uh, they have high melting points so melting points depends on close packing of the atoms or particles so in actinides the particles are closely packed so more attractions between the particles so they have high melting points right 
Next, in case of these actinides, we can see the size of the ion decreases, size of the atoms as well as the size of the ions decreases. The reason for decrease in size is from left to, to right, if you move in actinides, the atomic number increases, that is, Z value increases. As Z value increases, the number of protons increases. As the number of protons increases, the nuclear charge increases. That means, with increase in nuclear charge from left to, to right, the effective nuclear charge increases because the last electron entering into the same n minus 2 f subshell that is 5 f subshell that means the distance between the nucleus and n minus 2 f subshell is not changing means the distance between the nucleus and the last electron entering into the shell that is anti penultimate shell is not changing so from left to right only the nuclear charge is increasing this is called effective nuclear charge so from left to right effective nuclear charge increases so that is that's why what happens the size of the atom as well as the size of the ions decreases but this is to less extent only so the reason is due to increase in nuclear charge the size of the ion decreases and this is due to ineffective shielding offered by f subshell electrons we know that the shielding effect order shielding effect <coughs> shielding effect order is s greater than p greater than d greater than f that means among all the subshells f subshell offers lowest shielding means f subshell electron offers lowest shielding means they offer lowest shielding or no shielding so in case of this actinides last electron entering into f that is 5 f subshell so it is offering no shielding effect or ineffective shielding so, because of that, from left to right, the effective nuclear charge increases slightly. So, the atomic radius and the ionic radius decreases very slightly. That is only up to 16 picometers as discussed earlier. And coming to the next property that is color. So, these actinides, they exhibit colors. Different colors in different oxidation states. The reason for exhibiting different colors is in different oxidation states, they will have different number of unpaired electrons in 5F subshells. That is why they exhibit different colors. Suppose we consider different elements with same number of unpaired electrons. They may exhibit same colors. Same element with different oxidation states, it exhibits different colors. It depends on the color absorbed from the white light and that is the complementary color that is emitted during de excitation. So, we have a series of absorbed colors and a series of emitted colors that is called as complementary colors. Like we discussed in case of trans elements, so a series of absorbed color, if one color is absorbed, the complementary color will be the color of the metal ion. So, all these actinides generally they exhibit colors. The reason is they have at least one unpaired electron in 5F subshell. That is the reason is this 5F subshell when it splits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the 5 f subshell. So, it will have some unpaid electrons. Let us suppose. Now, when a ligand comes closer or when a group that donates electrons, when it comes closer, it splits into energy levels, different energy levels. Like this. One is with more energy, another one is less energy. This is called FF splitting. So, the electrons in the lower energy level will jump to the higher energy level. Electrons in the lower energy level will jump into the higher energy level on absorption of light. This is called as FF transition. Because of FF transition, it will absorb some light from the white light and gives the complementary color that is the color of the metal ion. So, the same metal in different oxidation state, it exhibits different colors because it has different number of unpaid electrons in the F subshell. This is explained clearly based on the point that is F F transition. Like we discuss in case of D block elements that is D D transition. Here we discuss in case of actinides that is F F transition. Even in lanthanides also we should remember this point that is F F transition occurs in case of actinides as well as lanthanides. They exhibit different colors. Now coming to the magnetic nature. As this Actinides, they have unpaired electrons in F subshell, they are paramagnetic. We know that magnetism 
of the substance is of three types paramagnetic ferromagnetic and diamagnetic paramagnetic means the substance will have at least one unpaired electron and weakly attracted by the magnetic field means the substance it moves from weak magnetic field to strong magnetic field in presence of magnetic field so paramagnetic condition is at least one unpaired electron so all these elements in their atomic state in their ionic state they have at least one unpaired electron in 5f subshell so they will move from weak field to strong field in magnetic field that's mean that means they are exhibiting paramagnetic nature what is ferromagnetic nature if they have more number of unpaired electrons they will move from weak field to strong field strongly attracted by magnetic field and they get magnetized permanently such property is called as ferromagnetic diamagnetic means if the if the element has all paired electrons in 5f subshell if it is placed in the magnetic field the element or the substance will move from strong magnetic field to weak magnetic field this is called as diamagnetic means substances will repel from magnetic field that is called as diamagnetism so among these three magnetic properties this lanthanides they will exhibit paramagnetic they are weakly attracted by magnetic field they will move from weak magnetic field to strong magnetic field so due to the presence of unpaired electrons in n minus 2f subshell they are exhibiting this property now the paramagnetism can be calculated by the formula mu is equal to under root of n into n plus 2 bohr magneton this is a formula used to calculate the magnetic nature or paramagnetic nature what is n here n is the number of unpaired electrons in f subshell so if one unpaired electron is there then we write root of 1 into 1 plus 2 root of 1 into 3 that is root 3 that is 1.732 bohr magneton so one bohr magneton is equal to one bohr magneton is equal to eh by 4 pi m into c this is the formula one bohr magneton e means charge of the electron h is planck's constant 6.625 ten power minus 27 arc second 4 is a constant pi is 22 by 7 that is we know that its value is 3.14 m is mass of the electron that is 9.11 ten power minus 31 kg and c is velocity of the light so so this is how we convert bohr magneton and we use this formula so this is about the magnetic nature these are paramagnetic in nature due to the presence of unpaired electrons and uh, regarding the color they are exhibiting colors different colors in different oxidation states due to the presence of different number of unpaired electrons in f subshell and this is clearly explained based on the concept that is ff transition means electron jumps from lower f orbital to higher f orbital coming to formation of complexes so these actinides they form complexes just like the transition elements will form the complex the reason is due to small atomic size generally metals with small atomic size and high electron density or charge density they they are capable of accepting electron pairs from the ligands what is a ligand ligand is a electron pair donor so these actinides they will accept electron pairs from ligands and they will form the complexes so the two reasons for formation of complexes small size of actinides and also high charge density these are the two conditions required for formation of complexes as we discussed in case of transition elements also they have small atomic size they have high charge density so they form many complexes like silver ammonium chloride ag nh3 taken twice cl potassium ferrocyanide k4 fe cn6 like this transition element forms n number of complexes here also actinides they will form large number of complexes because of these two properties observed similar to that of transition elements next uh, the reactivity property so coming to the reactivity they have low ionization energies so they are more reactive elements now let us see the uses of actinides now coming to the uses of these actinides these actinides are used in daily life in many purposes particularly in nuclear reactors these are very useful suppose we come to plutonium it is atomic mass 239 it is used as a nuclear fuel this is obtained this plutonium is obtained from uranium 238 during radioactive disintegration next uh, thorium dioxide it is used as gas mantles and uranium 235 this we use in atom bombs in the atomic reactors and are the nuclear fusion and nuclear fission reactions so these are 
not only useful but these elements as a use as a progress for the country of country and nation that is if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus